these are the fuel pumps I haven't wired the other two in I thought I'll run two lights for the fuel pump so a little test I haven't started it up in a day beautiful because the camera was rolling generally I'm pretty good <laughs> but yeah it's just lucky I've got the uh, the uh, tank on the turbo drain I mean you could run that for anywhere up to a minute before you'd have to worry about overfilling the turbo but yeah turn it off there you go awesome so you'll see that when the pump cuts out if we lose power to the pump. So I'll do the other two scav pumps on this one and uh, it's all done guys. I'll walk around the other side and I'll show you because I've got a couple other little bits and pieces done to it. Hear that alternator working? There you go, guys. Pretty much done. I've only just just wired this in about 20 minutes ago. And I thought I'd show you guys. So we've got the lights hooked up. Like I said, we've got power to all of them now. And these ground wires, they run to the power on the pumps. Whatever's powering the, the pump, you hook it up to that. So if you get a blown fuse or a fail in this, uh, it'll show up on the light. There's my coil. Nice little uh, lead that runs in through there I mocked up. All in all, guys, I'm very happy with the results. There was a lot of work in it. It's like I said, you put the time in and the results uh, show for themselves. All right, guys, well, that completely wraps it up now. Uh, I hope that you've got something out of this. Well, I truly did myself. It's really pushed my um, electrical know-how has gone to the next level now, so it's just fantastic. I just love in, uh, learning and improving my skill when it comes to uh, developing the car. Alright guys, I'll put one up soon. I've got some good stuff coming up in my mind and uh, I'll start putting the vids up and uh, yeah, alright, catch you later.